In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the hammer and dolly method. This rear quarter panel is severely dented in. In order for us to fix it properly, we need to hit it from behind. We need to remove the wheel and the wheel liner. Now we need to remove this fender liner to properly get behind this body panel. Yeah. You can get this hammer and dolly set that comes with a bunch of these for about 50 bucks at Harbor Freight. And essentially what it is is a hammer and a dolly. So as you can see here, this is a flat surface. We're gonna put this on the surface of the car and then we're gonna go from behind and hit it flat. As we hit this from the inside, going to pinch where that area is bent and hopefully straighten out the middle. Yeah, hit me daddy, hit me. If we hit the metal too far this way, all we have to do on the other surface is hit it nice and flat back. Pretty Lightning hand. After beating on the metal from behind for a long time, we have finally arrived where this card fits flat against our sheet metal. Now it's time to remove all of that paint. We are going to use a grinder with a sanding wheel on it. This makes real fast work. It'll remove all that paint very quickly so we can add body filler. Since we did a good job flattening all that metal with a hammer and dolly, we're going to apply a very thin amount of body filler this whole thing. Body filler is fine as long as you don't go over an eighth of an inch is usually what I stick to, but you can do it as thick as a quarter of an inch. Get some body filler out. I'm gonna use the professional gold stuff. I have better stuff. Bondo is not the greatest, but honestly, the gold is not bad. I like to add enough hardener to cover half. When mixing body filler, scrape it, spread it like this and then scrape it again. You don't want to mix it in circles or spirals. That will introduce air into the body filler and then you'll get pinholes. Goal for body filler is to get it on the panel as quickly as you can and get it as smooth as you can. That will save you so much time later when you're sanding. You wanna keep spreading the body filler until it starts to dry on you. And then at that point, you can go ahead and clean up your edges and all this excess just like that. And it's already starting to look better. Now that our body filler is dry, I always like to do this technique first. Take a tape measure out and measure that body line there that we need to replicate. And then what we're gonna do is essentially we're going to bring the tape measure to the edge of our part and then we're going to trace that around that two inch mark. That way we know exactly where we need to mold. Oh, it's thick. Now we know exactly where we need to sand this part flat and then we need to make an edge on this line here. In order for us to know where we've already sanded and where the high and low spots are, we're gonna use what's called a guide coat. This is essentially a powder that you can rub on the part that you're sanding and then you'll be able to tell exactly where your highs and lows are. When you're sanding down body filler, you always wanna use a nice flat straight edge. You can get this at Harbor Freight for probably anything like $10 and then you just get a roll of sandpaper like so and you can very easily add it to here. We're gonna sand this with 120 grit. As we're sanding, that guide coat is gonna show us where we've already sanded, where we haven't sanded and what is flat versus what isn't. Right here, this is a high spot. Darker color is a low spot. We're gonna sand this whole thing until there's no more highs and lows. Using a flat edge is super important. If you use anything else, you're gonna have a wavy result. You're making a mess, boy. You see the bare metal here, that is a high spot. And this body filler is still left over is technically a low spot. So what we have to do to make this nice and perfect is we're gonna do another layer of this whole thing and then we're gonna do the same steps again. As always, use some surface prep. That way it's nice and clean and free of my grubby, greasy paws. Mm, you're such a clean girl. You're such a clean girl. Mixy, 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 yeah, me. Mmm, creamy. The final sanding of the body filler used 220 grit.